I've been following Michael's podcast for like at least two years, I think, and I've been really, I've learned a lot from it. I've been really inspired by it. And so when he decided to do the council, I just had a strong feeling like it was what I needed. Honestly, the name itself, I was like, that's, those are gonna be my people, the Council of Visionary Business Builders. I didn't really realize how kind of lonely and isolated I was feeling as an entrepreneur and um, how much I needed support and community with others and how inspired I could be. Like this particular group of people, I couldn't have assembled this group of people on my own. I didn't know people like this. Everyone has been phenomenally supportive and friendly and curious and super engaged in my business and I feel really invested in their businesses. I think it's really amazing how quickly the culture here just turned into like really comfortable kind of familial culture that um, is really supportive and I know that Michael had a lot to do with fostering that environment. I've definitely been able to get a little bit more focus in my work because that's been the focus. I feel like what we've done actually in the last six months is Michael has taught us in a really simple way but in a really effective way how to focus on what's the most important thing we need to get done and then having a little bit of accountability by showing up in these live weekends um, and having him ask, you know, kind of try to keep us accountable through the calls and stuff has been helpful. So in my business, I was able to meet a lot of my goals in my business over the last six months. I'm a dreamer and I'm an optimist and I think that's why I'm an entrepreneur. Um, and yet when I ask for advice from the world at large, almost everybody usually gives me the kind of more fear-based advice like, oh, better be careful with that, don't take that risk, you know. And I feel like being part of the council, everybody's response was just really positive, optimistic, and coming from a place of love and not fear. And getting that type of affirmation gave me so much more permission to be like, this way that I already am inclined to be in the world is okay. There's other people like this and they're really doing great. Um, and they are my people. <laughs> and they will support me and back me up when I and having a moment like that. I really can't think of anyone who wouldn't benefit. Um, you know, all entrepreneurs are visionary, right? And I think Michael is so good about um, making space for that. He's, he just believes that all entrepreneurs are visionary and creative, and they are. So I can't think of a type of business owner that wouldn't belong in this group. I would just say thank you to Michael for, um, for building this and offering this and being so generous with his um, curiosity and his teaching through his podcast especially has been a real real value in my life and so it's just been great to have this in-person teaching with him after after learning from him for a couple years through that venue.